Zarin's forces have started a second attack on the Vorknik's project base. We will have to evacuate. Four modified corvettes and a full squadron of assault gunboats have been committed against us. Due to sabotage, our weapons platforms surrounding the base have all just lost their shield systems. Thai Advanced Group Alpha must stop the enemy attack and keep the traitors tied up until we are reinforced. Grand Admiral Thrawn has transferred to modified frigate Maru Ki so he can personally lead the counterattack. If Thai Advanced Group Alpha can't protect us until Thrawn arrives, we are doomed. Zarin's forces have started a second attack on... Thanks to your timely arrival, Zarin's initial attack on Tofalian base was thwarted. Now you must protect Tofalian base against a second attack by Zarin's forces. Grand Admiral Thrawn is sending reinforcements and will himself arrive aboard the Nebulon B-class frigate Maru Ki. Once the Maru Ki is here, Thrawn will personally direct a counterattack against the traitor forces. You must hold off the enemy until these reinforcements arrive. As the new flight leader, you will fly Thai Advanced Alpha 1. You will lead a four-ship flight group out of Tophalium base. Your craft has been armed with a special double load of 16 advanced concussion missiles. Also, your craft is fitted with a jamming beam. Zarin's spy managed to sabotage several of Tophalian base's defensive systems before attempting to escape. The main base's shields are intact, but all of the smaller asteroids have suffered complete shield system failures. They are now extremely vulnerable to being disabled by ion cannon attack. Four modified Corellian corvettes and a 12-ship squadron of assault gunboats have entered the area and are moving into attack formation. It is assumed that the assault gunboats will first disable the smaller weapons platforms to enable their quick destruction by the corvettes. Try to make short-range sensor scans of the corvettes to help us determine exactly what Zarin is planning. Keep an eye out for any other opportunities to aid our intelligence gathering. Here we go. All right, do something a little different here, though. Get the missiles. We're going to go heavy rockets. Keep the jamming beam. That'll be handy. Thai Advanced Group Alpha, intercept enemy gunboats. So goals, 75% of all traitor craft, traitor, must be destroyed. Platform Tophalian must have survived until it was complete. Secondary goals, 50% of all modified corvettes must be inspected. Bonus goals, destroy all assault gunboats, destroy all assault transports. Destroy all four modified corvettes. This is why we brought rockets. So as soon as we clear the asteroid here, send my wingmen after the window. Radio message received. Alpha one busy. using. Your target for attack. Mark the base. Three. And then focus on knocking out the corvettes. Expect the first two. Keep the jamming beam on them. Make sure to keep the shields maxed out. Confirm work, Alpha 1. Target destroyed. Modified Corvette 01's hull just went critical. Secondary mission objectives complete. These troops mean Zarin clearly intends to take over the base. Finish off these traitors, then report at once. Alpha 1, incoming missile. Superb, shooting, target destroyed. Alpha 
Transports, those are the biggest things. That's the biggest threat. Set as quickly as possible. Same strategy, jam them.
That's all goals complete, though. <laughs> I think. Gotten all the gunboats yet. Dump the jam in the room. It's useless. Good news is dogfighting type defenders to your I didn't die, I should be okay. I didn't come home in a box. Once again, the traitor's attack was defeated, and losses to enemy forces were again severe. With the loss of the smaller weapons platform, Tofalian base is now extremely vulnerable. Fortunately, Grand Admiral Thrawn arrived before it was too late, and he will now be able to coordinate the final demise of Zarin and his pack of traitors. Thrawn's intuitions regarding Zarin's plans. 